let's say um, you have a company that uh, specializes in uh, food tours in, in, in Poland. Uh, and, and these are the dates of the, oh, I should have updated them. Anyway, uh, these are the dates that you have on, on, uh, on August this year in, uh, you have in Krakow and in, in, in Krakow, in Warsaw and, and in Gdansk, we have several tools. Uh, and what we have here is a code. Uh, this code is, uh, we have a tour, which is have a date and then what city are we doing it. And then we are loading the tours uh, into a, a map that maps from a city to the list of tours in that city. Okay, so we are reading the tours, uh, we're creating a new CSV reader, and then we are uh, reading the records, uh, we are passing the time, and Go has a time.pass, which has a pretty unique format, which is unique to Go. This is a year, this is a month and a day. And then we create a tour and we should append, right? Should be like this. Uh, yeah, so I need, I need to append them. Okay, and uh, we just load and we print out how many tours we have in, uh, how many cities do we have tours in? Questions about this code? Okay, so read the line, pass the time, uh, take this, the, the, the past date and record which is a city, edit to the, line and return it. And we run it, oh, from the standard, standard input. Uh, we see that we have tools in four cities. But when we look at the CSV, I see only three. Right, there's Krakow, Krakow also and Gdansk. And this is one of the reasons why developers really don't like Unicode. So, so let's try to see what is the problem here. Okay. Um, Okay, so uh, this is the data. Okay, and, and this is the first look at the data and we already see that we have a problem. 
right? This line is 18 characters. This line is 19 characters. Or actually, as we saw when we talked at the beginning, these are actually 19 bytes, not characters. So what is going on here? Any guesses? Okay, so let's break it down to even smaller parts. So we know that this is the problematic. And I'm actually going to uh, see that it's only in this string. Okay, so we have these two strings, uh, which looks very much the same, uh, but they're not. So we are going to print them character by character. And here we see something interesting, right? This is looking like the string, right? So we have Krakow with the O with the umlet, but here we have the O and then in a different location, we have the omelet and then we have the W. And you see here, there is a jump. This is from four to six, and these are all straight. So what we are talking here is about something called a Unicode normalization. And Unicode equivalence or normalization. And the idea is basically that we can have uh, this letter printed out in two ways. One, there is a, a specific code point saying this is an O with an omelet, and you should print it out. The second one is saying this is a, the regular O, and then another code point after it saying please add an omelet to the letter before, meaning some of the code points in Unicode are not for display. They are what is known as control characters. They are telling us things to do about the text. One of them is this case. Uh, some other cases, for example, there are ones for text direction. So there's one that's saying now that the text from here is coming uh, you should display it in a right to left order. And there's absolute uh, direction and relative direction and several other th interesting things. Okay, because, uh, so m my native language is Hebrew and in Hebrew we write from right to left, but the digits we still write from left to right. So we have a mix in how we write text. Uh, what can you do? And Unicode needs to support all of these varieties, right? So the, there's several uh, control characters inside that will help. So the question is, okay, now uh, I'm doing a search engine and I'm storing this format in my database. And then someone is doing a cut and paste from some uh, website in this format. And I'm not going to find any tools, but they're actually the same. Yeah, uh, so the question is, what are we going to do about it? Um, so I will give you the exercise to solve this. Um, and I will just tell you the two libraries to do it. And I will ask you to write the code to solve it. 
Now, and the two libraries that we have are again in the X. So in Golang X text, we have a lot of stuff to deal with uh, Unicode and 